All right, so this lady here just went on a two-part, maybe possibly a three-part series on about how her niece slept with her man. This is crazy. All right, so this is where I found the video. This is the original content creator of the content that you just that you're going to see. Her name is Raven Dixon, but she goes by Zooty with the booty on the talk app. So if y'all want to follow her for more updates, this is the account you can go follow just to give her proper credit. Also, if for those who don't have TikTok and watch the rest, just go ahead and keep continuing to watch the video until the end. I've been in the house all day bench watching movies, so I was watching Soul Food, and I got to the part where Cousin Faith was, you know, mm -mm, um, Terry Husband. So it inspired me to get up here and tell my story about my Cousin Faith, because I know everybody got a Cousin Faith around, regardless if it's a friend, a sister, a cousin, a niece, or whoever. So I got a niece that's the same age as me. Oh, before I start telling my story, too, with my last story time about Renner Center, y'all say that I'm long-winded. I got ADHD. I tell 10,000 mini stories in one story. You have to tell certain details of a story so people can understand the story. Without the details, that's like a power with no feeling. Facts. So back to the story. I got a niece that's the same age as me or whatever. So um, she was dating this guy at the time or whatever. He was a younger guy. He was younger than her, but together they had like four or five kids or whatever. His brother had ended up getting into some trouble. Somebody had came and boom, pew, pew, at the house or whatever. I can't remember if they moved out because they feared for their lives or if the landlord ended up putting them out. All I know is they had to move. So they were staying in hotels or whatever. With them staying in hotels, they kept applying for cribs, but they kept getting denied. So each night their money is getting lower and lower. I was dating a guy who owned properties or whatever. So I ended up asking my friend or whatever, could he rent a place to them? My niece was like, can you please ask them? I asked him at first. He was like, no, he didn't want to rent a place to them. He don't want to rent the family, all of that or whatever. So I let them stay at my house for a few nights because I was never really home for real. I was always staying at my man house. But, you know, after a while go on, I'm going to come home. So I really needed them to find a place. Two nights with them being into the townhouse, her boyfriend ends up going to jail. When he go to jail, I think he was in jail for like two weeks or whatever, he ends up um, getting a bond. When he got out, she was already wanted. So she ended up going to jail like literally right after he got out. She sat in jail for probably like, I think like six to eight months, something like that. The whole time she was in jail, he had women in and out of the house in and out the house one day somebody calls me or whatever this is how i end up finding out somebody ended up called me and was like go look at such such live on facebook so the girl was up there on live drinking a capri sun and eating fruit snacks in her bed and she was like yeah i'm in this b bed eating her kids fruit snacks drinking their capri suns then the other girl got up there and was like yeah we just made us another baby in that bed this is one of his previous baby mamas he got her pregnant in the house so you know my niece is in jail like going through it like oh my god i can't believe he's doing this to me so mind you he had ended up getting sentenced to some time for when he had went to jail and got out on bond he got sentenced to some time but he explained to the judge that he was a full-time daddy and that my niece was in jail or whatever so the judge was nice enough to tell him like look you can i'll you know once y'all figure out her time we can figure out a time when you can come turn yourself in. So once she got sentenced, the judge set it up so that when she come home, he goes in. So when she got out, he had two weeks to turn himself That's in. Nice so I'm telling my niece, like, yeah, you about a dog walking when he get out. You know, he did you dirty, da da da, whatever. She ends up throwing a cookout for him for going away. That's what I thought the cookout was for. So I end up going out there to the cookout or whatever, you know, to see him away. Hey, go do your two years in jail. Then it's her turn to have people in the crib. So he, um, somebody ends up calling and was like, yeah, I see you was at the wedding reception. I'm like, what wedding reception? They like, yeah, your niece had a wedding reception. I said, girl, that was a going away cookout. They said, no. That was their celebration because they went down there to the justice of the peace and got married. So I call her. I'm like, you married him? You married him? At first she was lying about it. Then she ended up admitting, yes, she did marry him, which I thought was the most stupidest thing ever. So I had kind of fell back from her a little bit. I really wasn't talking to her like that. On top of that, she needed to focus because now the person who pays the bills is going to jail and then you got a background. So it's not just that easy for you to get out here and get the job, get a job like that. So now she got to try to figure out how she going to pay the bills. 
I don't want to make the video too long because then it's going to take too long to upload. Go to part two on how I found out my niece was sleeping with my man. Y'all people on TikTok is really crazy. Let me hear up and share the story time before I get beat up. All right, so boom. So months go down the line or whatever. I don't talk to um, my niece. I wasn't talking to her because I felt some type of way about her getting married after the dude did all of that to her. So she ends up calling me one day, you know, like asking me um, why she hadn't heard from me, why I wasn't talking to her. I kept everything short, sweet, and simple. So her mom ends up um, moving down here, which is my sister. And she was living in Atlanta. She went to the store, came back home. Her boyfriend had died. But that's neither here nor there. So anyways, um, my sister was living back down here now. I ended up going out one night with my friend. She lived in a different city than me. So she came and picked me up. The plan was for me to stay the night at her house after the club. But once we went to the club, I didn't feel like staying the night. So I ended up calling my sister to see if she happened to be on that side because she hung in that city. So she was like, yeah, she would pick me up, give me a ride home. She come pick me up, I get in the car with her or whatever, and we talking to her and she telling her how, she telling me how my niece attitude had been real, real bad. So I was telling her like, yeah, cause my dude went around there yesterday to go fix her AC. And while I'm on the phone with him, her attitude was real nasty. And she was like, tuh, you ain't crazy. Put that shit together, sis. Girl, put what together? What are you talking about? She was like, you ain't stupid. I said, what you mean I ain't stupid? What, what's, I, I, was, I was stupid. I was totally oblivious because I didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. So she was like, listen, I don't got no stone facts or whatever. She was like, but I think they messing with each other. So I was like, why you think they messing with each other? So she just started like naming stuff. She was like, um, he had got her a car. Um, she said that the rent had went from one property. She said he was giving her care credit to get the kids some glasses. Um, he had gave her a gift card to go get some Victoria's Secret. I was like, what? So I ended up calling him, asking him about it or whatever. Of course, he denied it. I ended up calling her, asking her about it. Of course, she denied it. She started downplaying her own mama. Da, 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 da. This is how I found out for a fact that they were and I wasn't just speculating two days after I found that out about them that's when I ended up taking my trip up the road to prison I went to jail though you know of course it took time before I got sentenced to prison or whatever but I had ended up um getting locked up or whatever and um while I was in jail he still never admitted it but I really wasn't talking to him like that because I knew it wasn't a lie she ends up being wanted for a murder or a conspiracy to a murder. This is how everything was solid that they was dealing with each other. Someone had ended up getting murdered in her house. And when they went on a look, when they went on a hunt to go look for her, they ended up kicking in his house because he was the landlord of the house. And I guess they had got word that him and her was, I don't know. All I know is, is that they found her at his house, butt ball naked. I have so many questions, but I just don't even know where to begin, honestly. Like, the proof was there. When the sister was like, girl, put it together, it was clear. But I try to, you know, mind my business when it comes to people's relationships, because it's like, if you don't see it, then I'm not about to be the first one to tell you, because... That's who they beef with first. So shout out to the sister for trying to be the one to put two and two together. But clearly, they was fucking around. And second of all, why did the sister even know all of this information? And why is she telling you all at the last second? Like, if she was doing all of those things for your niece, why didn't she tell you that in the jump? Why she didn't tell her, hey, did you know your man? This is why I mind my business most times when it comes to this shit because it just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. So many cliffhangers. Everybody was going to prison. What's up with that? Why are y'all going to prison? Can we get a second part to that? A third part to that? So you know, okay, we get it. Your niece slept with your man. Clear as day. He was there naked when the police kicked in the door looking for who? Her. Damn. Well, we got the gist of that. 
I just don't understand why you and um, what the hell is all the other shit around it? Like, what do y'all think?